today. Good evening. Nine years in prison. That is the max that woman now faces. Memory Hardwick pled guilty today. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is in the newsplex with more. And Diane, the plea deal comes just after the first anniversary of Matt Trujillo's death. A bittersweet moment for friends. Guilty, sir. Guilty. A plea family and friends of Matt Trujillo have been waiting an entire year for. Today, Memory Hardwick pled guilty to vehicular homicide and then for leaving Trujillo to suffer on the road that morning in May 2011. She was eastbound and he was coming this direction. And so he was hit in the eastbound lanes of Indian School trying to trying to cross Indian School. Trujillo was on his way to work at REI that morning. Hardwick was already high on meth and on a drug run when she dropped a lit cigarette and took her eyes off the road. After she hit Trujillo, she took off. How do you plead to leaving the scene of an accident, great bodily harm or death? Um, knowing that you leaving the scene of an accident? Guilty. In total, Hardwick could face up to nine years in prison. That made this visit very different today. After the guilty plea, Jennifer Bond stopped by the ghost bike place at the intersection where Trujillo was hit. I thought, you know, Matt, I hope this is good. I hope this is what they wanted. I hope you're happy with it. I hope that people find this helpful and healing. Bunce knew Trujillo from Albuquerque's close-knit cycling community. She hopes the guilty plea will help his family find peace. And Bunce told us Trujillo's family does not have ill will toward Hardwick and has expressed that they hope she gets the support she needs to turn her life around. Now, as part of the plea deal, two misdemeanor charges were dismissed, including a prior drug charge. Diane, back to you. All right, thank you, Crystal. Hardwick, who has prostitution and drug arrest on her record before that deadly hit and run, will be sentenced in August.